Hello, scholars. Welcome back. Um, today is April 1st, 2020. I am so excited because we are going to read The Tortoise Shell today. As we read this book, we are going to think about the character traits, about the character, about the character, scholars, about the character traits, character traits, get ready, go. Character traits are the words that describe how a character is as a person found through their thoughts, actions, dialogue, and feelings. One more time, get ready, go. Character traits are the words that describe how a character is as a person found through their thoughts, actions, dialogue, and feelings. And we got that. Well, scholars, super exciting. Um, as we read, we are also going to keep working on making predictions, on making predictions. Yes, predictions, get ready, go. Prediction is a good guess what will happen in the story. Scholars, how do good readers make good predictions? How do good readers make good predictions? Let's go ahead and think about it in our minds. Let's point to our brains. Hmm. Wonder who was going to remember from yesterday. Scholars, I know that good readers make predictions by looking. Oh, how good readers make predictions is by looking at evidence, by looking at the evidence. Yes, we gather all of that evidence, scholars, and based what we see and what we read, scholars, we can maybe see what will happen next. And scholars, this is really important because it will help us better understand the story. It will keep us engaged um, and uh, we will be able to make that prediction on our own. So let's go ahead and begin. The tortoise shell. The tortoise shell. Have you ever seen the cracked pattern on a tortoise shell. This story from Africa tells how it got there. Well, I see here that um, this shell is really smooth, but based on the front and back cover, a little bit confused because um, I see that a shell right here and then a shell here. I'm already making a prediction based on what I saw in the book and based on what I see here. So. I think it has to do a lot with the tortoise shell, as the title tells us. Let's keep reading. Tortoise stood in the door of his house. He watched his friend Vulture fly away. I feel terrible, Tortoise said. He hung his head sadly from his shell. His shell was as smooth as a glass bowl. Why? asked his wife. You just had, had a nice lunch with your friend. Yes, he replied, but Vulture always comes to our house. We never visit him. Husband, said his wife. How could a vulture expect us to visit him? He's a bird. He lives in the tallest trees of the mountains. We don't have wings. We can barely climb the hill next to our house. Tortoise nodded. Yes, I know, he said. He must think we are selfish friends. We should try to visit him. I must do something. What? Are you going to grow wings? His wife asked. She chuckled. No, but I, I think, but I will think of something. I'm going to pause right here, scholars, and I'm going to ask, hmm, what is tortoise like? What is tortoise like? Well, I wonder if you know what I am asking for. Yesterday I said that when I ask what is it mm, like, I'm asking for a character trait. I'm asking for a character trait well and i know that we find character a character trait word by looking at a character's thoughts actions dialogue and feelings so we are going to be looking at uh, tortoise's thoughts actions dialogue and feelings i see scholars that he is really concerned that he's being rude to vulture by never going to his house and he is trying to think of a way he could visit vulture I know, scholars, when you are worried about something and how you're treating other people, it must mean something positive. That is a positive character trait. So let's look at our chart and see if we can find something um, that will help us decide how tortoise is like. So we're going to look under the positive section. Positive. Hmm. I see the word considerate and decisive. Consider it means thinking about the feelings and needs of others. Oh, this is definitely, that's definitely tortoise. Let's see decisive. 
able to make choices quickly and confidently? Mm, I don't think that's the best choice. I think um, consider it better describes tortoise. So I am going to write that down on my chart. Mm, I am going to use red today. So let's go ahead and write tortoise. And I said we said that he was considerate. And I'm going to switch markers because this marker is not the best one. So oop, it's right over here. So he is considerate and I know from my evidence because he is thinking and that's that is his thoughts, thinking about Vulture's feelings. I think this is a really great character trait, scholars, because uh, when you're considered, you think, you think of the feelings and needs of others. Well, and I think this really describes Tortoise because he was thinking about visiting his friend and what he might be feeling, even though he might not be able to, but he's, he is still considering his feelings. So let's keep reading and see if we can find more character traits to describe this character or maybe even other characters. Tortoise thought for the rest of the day, then he lay awake all night thinking. Suddenly, his head popped from his shell. I have a plan, he said to his wife. Wrap me up like a package in, this, in these big leaves. Vulture will come to visit today. Tell him that we are out of fruit. Say, we would like to trade rice for his apples. He is a good friend. I am sure he will help. When he leaves, he will fly away with me and the rice. Tortoise smiled at his plan. His wife rolled her big brown eyes. Hmm. This is a very silly idea. Whoa. Scholars, what is Tortoise's wife like? What is she like? Hmm. Well, thinking about her thoughts and actions, dialogue and feelings, I already know that she said something super negative. So I know that this is going to leave us to the negative column um, in the character trait sheet, in the character trait wall. So let's see. She's sneaky, uh, tricky, lying, not being dishonest, not being honest. I don't think that better, that matches um, Trisha's wife. Um, let's see, considered thinking very highly of herself or too proud. I also don't think this this fits um, the Tortoise's wife. So I'm going to go to my head and I already know that um, she already rolled her eyes. So I know that that is an action. That is in? That is an action, yes. So I'm going to start. I know that I am describing Tortoise's wife. And she rolled her eyes. I know that she rolled her eyes. I wonder if you can go back um, and think in your mind, what did, what is the dialogue that Tortoise's wife um, used in order to help us figure out a character? What dialogue did she use? I know that ca character dialogue is what the character is saying. What did this character say? Hmm. I remember that she said that this was a very silly idea. So I'm going to go ahead and write it down in my chart. Mm -hmm. She said that, said, it's a silly idea. Like I said, I know that it is a negative character trait. I'm going to go into my mind and think of something. I know when I say an idea to someone um, and they tell me, they tell me, oh, that is that is not a good idea. I feel unsupportive. So I think that Taurus's wife is unsupportive. I'm going to write that down in my chart. Unsupportive. And I have another really smart um, character as well. Um, I think because she's saying all of these things and I'm saying all of these ideas, she is judging, um, like if somebody was telling that to me, she is judging me. So I think she is also critical. Okay. I wonder if you had a better character trait than I did in your mind. Let's keep reading. 
No, no, her husband replied. Think of how excited my friend will be. He will unwrap the package and find me inside. Later that day, just before lunch, Tortoise wrapped himself in palm leaves. His wife tied them up with string. At his usual time, Vulture flew down from the sky. He knocked on the door. Good afternoon, Vulture said. Well, hello, my husband is not here, said the wife as Tortoise had told her to. She heard Tortoise giggle inside the palm trees. She tapped him with her foot. Ooh. Guys, I'm going to pause right here. Let's go ahead and make a prediction in our mind. What do you think will happen next? What do you think will, pack, will happen next? Go ahead and think about it in your mind. I wonder, scholars, if you can make a prediction about Tortoise's personality um, to make a really great prediction. All right, well, I am going to share my prediction with you, scholars. Based on what I have read and what I see here, I think he will give away his secret plan when he's flying back to Vulture's house because he's silly and he can't stop giggling. But I don't think he will be able to keep the secret. So let's see. I wonder if your prediction was different than mine. I wish he hadn't gone. I am out of fruit. I can't go to the market, she told the vulture. The tall brown bird scratched his head with his wing. Is there anything I can do to help? Could we trade could we trade you for some apples? I will give you this parcel of rice. I would be very grateful to you. <coughs> Sorry. Scholars, after I read the second paragraph, I want, I am already thinking about what is this vulture like? What is vulture like? What do you think? As you are thinking, scholars, I am going to write vulture under my character trait uh, column because we are going to be describing him soon. Okay, so what is Vulture like? Hmm. Hmm. As I am thinking, scholars, I right away think that he is very helpful. And the reason why I think he's helpful is because um, he immediately said, yes, I'll help to, to Vulture, to his wife. So um, let's go ahead and write this down. I am going to say helpful. And this is such a positive character trait, helpful. Immediately helps. Whoa, let's keep reading and see what happens next. Vulture said that would be fine. He took the package and said goodbye with a few quick flaps of wings. Vulture flew into the sky. Vulture flew higher and higher. Tortoise could feel the cold air. He wanted to see the view from the sky. He poked his head through the wrapping. My, what a sight, he cried. Everything looks so small. He laughed hysterically. Vulture was startled. He let the package fall. Tortoise fell to the earth. Kershak! He landed on his, in his shell. It cracked. Since that day, Tortoise and Vulture have not been friends. You can still see the cracks in Tortoise's shell. Scholars, how does tortoise shell become cracked? How does tortoise shell become cracked? Well, I know scholars that tortoise shell become cracked because Vulture dropped him. He was startled. He didn't know that there was somebody there. So he just dropped the package and he fell on the ground and the ground broke his shell. Whoa. Well, scholars, 
I, now that I have read the book, I'm going to think about one more word. Hmm. I want to say that Tortoise is a little bit silly. I think his ideas didn't really match up and I think um, he's also silly because he kept laughing, um, like he was laughing hysterically when he uh, Vulture was scaring him and also he was, he was giggling um, because he thought it was a silly idea. Um, he was giggling when Vulture went by um, to visit him. So I'm going to write the word silly and it's going to be right under personality. And I'm going to say laughed hysterically. And then I'm going to say he giggled. All right, scholars. So that was for today's lesson. Let's go ahead and think about predictions as you're reading new books. Look at the front cover, the back cover um, of your book and see if you can come up with new predictions before you start reading the book. And see if you, as you read, that you can still come up with character traits um, as, you, as new characters come up. All right, scholars. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.